Hey, I'm Sandy Schreck, and today we're here to look at the popularity of the rise of the circle for weddings. So we're seeing the large infinity circle that's becoming a backdrop for weddings. So today we want to look at a potential inspiration for a bridal bouquet. So what I'm doing is starting off with a metal circle. Um, this one is an embroidery hoop, but I'm also going to show you in one of our next videos uh, how to actually create different circles. But here, simply here, I just upgraded it, adding a handle to it with the etched wire from Smithers Oasis. And then on the bottom, I added U-glue strips from the front and then from the back. The back, you can see I've just taken and applied uh, Italian Israeli ruscus. So Israeli ruscus leaves there. Then from the front, what I'm gonna do is just remove those strip backing and then just like we do on some of our corsages we are going to tap the foliage and filler flowers in place and then glue on some of the other materials so here we're just going to come in and tap in some of our italian ruscus and going the other way just tap that into the you glue so you can see that makes a great starting base and from that point I'm also going to tap in some of the filler flowers as well this is a great time saving technique and I'm gonna save a little bit of filler flower to come back in and potentially glue in on the end um, but then next we're going to take our green cymbidium orchid, just cut that off at the base and prepare it for some of the floral adhesive. And so here I'm just coming in with a decent amount, I say about a fingertip of the glue. Um, you know this is going to be a bouquet that's going to Kind of be swung around and and handled quite a bit uh, we have three of um, our roses that we're going to prepare as well and so those i'm just cutting the calyx off and applying the glue as well if i do this in a rhythm pattern by the time i get that all done these are ready to apply right into our bouquet here So then a couple of other finishing um, areas that I'm going to do is add in some other textural elements. So I've got some green hypericum that I'm going to add in and then also green trick dianthus. So I use green trick dianthus a lot in my corsage work because when you see something like this you've got a cymbidium that's a little bit floppy. If I take this green trick dianthus and put it in right under the one side, what I'll do is be able to hide my mechanics right in here and also stabilize that cymbidium. So it's a great, great item to be able to use in some of that work. It's long lasting, it easily hides the mechanics so you can't see into the glue and you can see now our cymbidium is much more stable. So we know that it's making connection point. This adds just a nice amount of glue to make sure we've got a good contact in with that cymbidium, in with our foliage structure. Spray roses and roses are, are the same way too, where they kind of need a little bit of a supporting element. And so we're going to be able to do that with this as well. And then come in 
with some of the hypericum. So I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer on the stem so that it does extend out beyond the flowers. But that adds that whole um, waxy texture. Texture within our floral design elements is the biggest trend that we're seeing now and uh, has become very popular. The mixes of foliage, texture, and floral material has become integral to the success of your floral designs. Adding a little bit of green trick over here finish that up and then I am just going to um, add a little bit of the wax flower glued in just to kind of spread that throughout the design it's going on the stem and just adding that glue to the stem and just coming into my base structure so like here as I'm sticking in I get into that green trick dianthus and it's a great, great holding mechanism as well. So there I had a little boo-boo where some glue ended up showing. So I am gonna just come on top of it and add another little piece of green trick and be my little hider of my boo-boo. Uh, so just come in and add a little bit of this extra element right down in there. And how are we looking? really have a piece of paper down on my table so I'm not getting glue on my table which normally is what I do is put that piece of paper down um, underneath my pieces and a little bit offset and so I'm actually going to add one more cymbidium over here So, here's the moment of truth, right? The last one might not stick on real well, but um, you can see that's a great look for a floral designed um, custom bouquet that would go with a great infinity circle. And so hopefully you'll give this a try for your bridal customers and just really create that great, great look with circles.